today on Fixing the Money Thing. See, fear is nothing but perverted faith. See, fear is nothing but putting the wrong seed in there and incubating it. You don't have to wait till a bad something or other happens to get your heart prepared. You need to be feeding your heart the Word of God so that faith is there. It's a now revolution today on Fixing the Money Thing. With most families burdened in unsustainable levels of personal debt, most Americans believe there is no way to have financial freedom. However, author, pastor, and financial expert Gary Cassie believes most families can be completely out of debt in less than seven years. You must get out of debt. You've got to make right choices with your money right now. Gary and his wife Drenda are now on a crusade to share this information that changed their life so that you can not just survive, but prosper in today's economy. Your life can be totally transformed by an idea in the marketplace. This is Gary Cassie, Fixing the Money Thing. Welcome to today's program. We have an email here, Gary. Yeah. A lady named Stacy from Alabama says, the past three years have sort of spiraled out of control. We've lost our business that we've owned for 14 mm. years. We're on the verge of losing our home. Wow. We owe the IRS so much, we live in fear every day. Wow. You know, it makes me yeah. sad when I hear emails like this. And I know there are people that are hurting, Gary. And, uh, you know, how yeah. do they stay out of fear when these kinds of circumstances uh, gonna, are overwhelming? They're going to have to do the same thing we did when we were in this situation. And that is we have to get in us the kingdom of God built up. The picture on the inside mm -hmm. of us has to become bigger than the picture on the outside. We have to believe what we see on the inside in the word of God more than we believe the circumstances. Yes. That's the only hope you have. And that's going to come by revelation of the kingdom on the inside. Yes. So, Gary, are there answers for Stacy? Oh, absolutely. Jesus slept in a storm. Mm -hmm. You can go through storms. There's no doubt about that. That's, that's, we're heading through. We're making it through. That's no problem. I love Gary addressed just recently in a conference this subject yeah. of fear. And I think you need to take a look at this. It's going to give you some answers how you can overcome fear and worry at a recent now revolution. See, our heart has been trained to fear. We have been raised in the valley of the shadow of death. We are professional warriors. We are survivalists. And we have trained ourselves to think of the bad and the worst happening out of most circumstances, right? And so we want to talk about that tonight. We're going to go on past that. I said last night we're going to talk about why faith. We're going to talk about the earth curse system. We're going to continue laying that foundation that will bring the finances in, that you need into your life. Okay, you with me? So how do I deal with my heart that's, that believes wrong things or it has unrighteousness in it? Let me give you an example. You know, people change their doctrine or theology based on circumstances. Uh, you know, you've heard the story of Jesus on top of the mountain with his three disciples. They came down off the mountainside and there was an argument going on with his other disciples because the father had brought his son to Jesus to cast the demon out and they couldn't cast it out. Anyone remember that story? And so they couldn't cast the demon out. And what did Jesus do? Did he say group hug? Did he say, well, you know, I understand your pain. You know, I, I really feel for you. You know, maybe an aspirin would help. You know, maybe you can kind of take it easy. No, he didn't do that. He said, oh, perverse generation, how long must I put up with you? What he was saying was the fact that demon did not come out is what? Perversion. Demons are supposed to come out. Bring the boy to me and he cast it out. I turn the light switch on, what's supposed to happen? The lights are supposed to come on. When I drop something, gravity causes something to happen. It's supposed to happen. The laws are laws. They don't change. The demon is supposed to come out. But because people, we have not renewed our mind to the laws of the kingdom, we develop church doctrine that says, well, all demons don't come out. All people aren't healed. Our, our ultimate healing will be in heaven. You know, we'll, we'll go ahead and it's okay to die and let the devil have his way now. But, you know, you know, you've heard these things. Listen, when the Bible says they lay hands on the sick and they shall recover, what is supposed to happen? They're supposed to happen. And when it doesn't happen, what do people do? They say, I don't understand why God no, he did it all. See, it's already finished. What they need to understand is, I don't, what they should say is, I don't understand why this has been short-circuited, why the anointing is not flowing. Something must have happened to the switch. Something's wrong with the heart. 
Now you're getting it now. All right. So we have to judge our heart. We have to know if we're in faith. We have to know how faith operates. And um, so we're going to look at some scriptures and, and cover that. Romans 12, let's turn there quickly. I've got a few scriptures to cover with you that I want to help you understand how faith operates so we can jump in here. He says this in verse number two, do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. All right, and what's he talking about? If you had a, a pattern making dresses and you desired something else, but you kept using the same pattern, what would you have every time you made a dress? The same pattern, same dress. And so people, without changing how they think or changing how they operate, have the same thing happen. They don't understand it. They don't want it. They don't like it. But the Bible says you must choose not to conform any longer to what you've been trained, the thoughts of this world. He says you must be conformed to a new, a new process, a new thinking. He says to be uh, transformed. The word there in the, in the Greek is meta, uh, morph, meaning to change. Uh, the word metamorphosis comes from that word, and you can think of a monarch butterfly or a butterfly, a caterpillar becoming a butterfly does not look anything like a caterpillar, and a, uh, a caterpillar uh, can't do what a butterfly does. And so the church for many years has prayed as a caterpillar, God, help us run faster. Help us get the job done. We're awfully slow, but we can, we can endure it. We're a caterpillar. We can get the job done. God never called you to do that. He calls you to operate at a different level, a new law that supersedes the earth curse system. Walking in the spirit allows you to walk in a different level of anticipation. Uh, if you try to do it as a caterpillar, you're going to be frustrated because any vision God gives you, you cannot walk out in your own natural strength. You've got to tap into a new set of laws to get it done. And so we have to understand that. So how do I do that? I transform my mind by renewing my mind to the thoughts of God, the word of God. So we want to understand that I've got to think different for faith to be there. Romans 10, 17 says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So I've got to be diligent by putting faith, the word of God in my heart. And now Hebrews chapter four, then what happens, if you look there with me, and I'm going fast to cover a couple things real quick about faith. Romans, I mean, uh, Hebrews chapter four, verse number 12, for the word of God is what? Living. The word of God is living and active. What's it active doing? Well, he says right here, it's sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow, soul and spirit. The soul's the soulish realm, the mental realm, the, the, the thoughts, the feelings, the will, and the spirit, the kingdom, the God part of you. The Word of God is going to umpire and help you dis divide, understand what is righteousness and what is perversion. He's going to clean your heart. He's going to help you think right thoughts. Then he also is, the word is going to judge also or help divide between the joints and marrow. Joints and marrow are made from bone. They look the same, but their function is different. You know, it's not a proper function for a man to marry a man, right? So the word of God gives me an understanding of function. So I know what to reject and I can move more and more towards righteousness. That's how God thinks, what God calls right. Then it goes on and says, he judges the thoughts and the attitudes of the heart. Nothing in all creation is hidden from God's sight. Everything is uncovered and laid bare. Thank God for that. He is going to, this living word of God is going to by itself in your spirit, the God part of you is going to produce faith. It's a natural byproduct of the living word of God. It's going to produce faith. It's going to produce faith all by itself. In Mark chapter 4, we see a picture of this. Again, I'm going to cover, just a, I'm covering fast, but uh, this isn't the total focus of the evening, so I want to just cover these points real quick for you. In Mark chapter 4, Jesus gives us three very important parables about faith, about how the kingdom operates in the earth realm. If you don't know them, I would highly recommend you spend some time in Mark chapter 4 and learn these three parables. Of course, the first and the most famous is the parable of the sower. He talks about the heart of man, how the kingdom grows there. But I want to focus on the second parable he teaches there, which is in verse 26. This is what the kingdom of God is like. A man scatters seed. Now, in the previous parable, the parable of the sower, what was the seed? The word of God. Okay, so a man scatters the word on the ground. In the previous parable, Jesus described, what did he call the ground? 
the heart of man. So a man scatters the word on his heart day and night, whether he sleeps or gets up, the seed sprouts and grows, though he does not know how. You see, your spirit, your God part of you is designed to incubate. The God part of you incubates. See, fear is nothing but perverted faith. See, fear is nothing but putting the wrong seed in there and incubating it, and that's how you were raised. You were raised feeding on wrong perception, wrong thoughts. But the God part of you doesn't know the difference. You feed it, you scatter it on there, all by itself, the, the soil, the heart, the heart, the heart produces the fruit, you see. The heart does. So he says that the soil produces this fruit fruit as you put the word there first the stalk then the head then the full kernel in the head and as soon as the grain is ripe he puts a sickle to it because the harvest has come now he's talking about faith he's not talking about when the thing you're believing for shows up because it's a result of faith remember faith is the evidence of things not seen what he's talking about is when your heart finally agrees with heaven and we're going to talk tonight about that the agreement that we have to have that is needed to bring heaven into the earth realm. With more revolutionary ideas to get out of debt, Gary and Drenda Cassie. Excellent teaching, Gary. I love it. Yeah. When you grab the Word of God and you put it in there into the situation, yes. it changes the whole picture. It changes everything. Of everything, doesn't it? You know, Drenda, we just released our brand new series, our set called The Now Revolution 2.0 which we take the fundamental principles of the kingdom of God and begin to lay them out line upon line. You know, how yes. our heart functions, how the earth realm functions, how the word literally, how it changes our circumstances. How does that work? How do I apply it? Those things are vital. We have now CDs, DVDs, and this material has uh, just so much information that's going to change that picture on the inside of them to let them overcome that fear. Yes, you know, maybe you're a single mom. Yeah. Maybe you've lost a job. Maybe your home is almost in foreclosure or you're facing yes. uh, lots of future situations and decisions yeah. and you don't know the answers. God has answers for you. And this series has a lot of great material for you that you're going to get a hold of and it's going to drive out the fear and worry and it's going to open the door to possibilities. Here's how you can get it now. Today's resources are designed to increase your faith and revolutionize your life through kingdom principles and help you fix your money thing. Are you tired of waiting for your life to change? Then it's time to change the way you think. It's time for revolution. You've got to step into the chaos and conflict if you ever want to change your life. The Now Revolution is the foundational teaching of entrepreneur and financial expert Gary Cassie. In the Now Revolution 2.0, Gary's five teachings use scriptures, stories, humor, and personal experiences to show you the principles of the kingdom of God that will revolutionize your life now. When God gives you the plan, man, you need to move. Are you tired of being held captive by your finances? It's time to break free and discover God's abundant provision for your life. You need new direction. You need new ideas, new concepts, right? to get you someplace you've never been before, so it comes by revelation. Messages include, the kingdom of God is real, why faith, wealth by the Holy Spirit, power of the measure, and provision through God's kingdom. Call, write, or log on, and for only $30, you get over six hours of teaching on CD, plus 20 financial scripture cards designed to move you from just surviving to thriving. The kingdom works every single time. Or you can get the Now Revolution on five DVDs and the 20 financial scripture cards for only $40. Discover how to step from survival mode into destiny mode. How to sow and harvest, then live on the overflow. Start your journey to financial revolution. These great resources are yours when you support the worldwide outreach of Faith Life Ministries. $30 for the Now Revolution on CD with the financial scripture cards. $40 for the DVDs and scripture cards. And whether you order CDs or DVDs, Gary and Drenda want to bless you to be a blessing with a second set to give to a friend or loved one. Help someone you care about experience financial breakthrough and discover their God-given destiny. Call 888-391-LIFE. That's 888-391-5433. Go to GaryCassie.com or write to Faith Life Now, P.O. Box 779, New Albany, Ohio, 43054. 
Get the Now Revolution 2.0 for you and a friend. Life's too short to spend one day living in lack. Gary Cassie is America's financial coach, and he makes fixing your money thing easy. Call, write, or log on today. With more revolutionary ideas to get out of debt, Gary Cassie. How many have had a need? And uh, you, know, you know God's your answer, but you can't make it happen. See, you can't will it to happen. You can't make faith be there. You can't confess and just say, okay, I'm going to take this scripture and I'm just going to believe it. Because what's the problem? Your heart may not believe it. And remember the, the conduit, the switch, is if a man believes in his heart and believes what he says. That means you're convinced. Remember the definition of faith? We said last night, Romans chapter 4, Abraham, it says, was fully persuaded that God was able to do what he said he could do. Now, when you become fully persuaded, your heart comes in agreement with heaven. Remember the Bible says not to pray with a bunch of words. I think it's Matthew 6. Don't babble like unbelievers because you think you'll be heard because you're many words. What do Christians do? They babble. How many times did you see that in the Bible? How many did Jesus do that? You'll never see. He didn't ask the Father for authority. He just told the demon to come out. You see, because he understood, he was convinced of who he was and how the kingdom operated. Now, what we do is we babble, we scream, and we, we have this fuss, and we, we fast for 55 days. We think, if I, can, if I can convince God, no. The Bible clearly says in Matthew 6, he says, don't pray like that, like the unbeliever. See, an unbeliever is not full of faith, who thinks he'll be heard because there's many words. Pray like this, and the Word of God gives us the Lord's Prayer. The Lord's Prayer, when I grew up, was on the bulletin every Sunday, and we quoted it. I don't know if you grew up in a denominational church or not, but, you know, we had the, the psalm, the hymn, the Lord's Prayer. And we'd always say, our, our Father who art in heaven, you know, we, we'd quote it, right? He wasn't giving us a memory verse. He was teaching us how to pray. See, he was saying, you come to the Father in the authority of that name. He says, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. What did he, he's instructing, he said, he said, don't pray like that. Your father knows what you need of before you ask. Pray like this, the Lord's Prayer. So obviously, father doesn't have to be convinced of our need, does he? But we have to bring what's in heaven into the earth. Pray like this, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Are you getting this, you see? So faith is in our heart. When our heart comes into agreement with heaven, faith is there. We may have mental assent to the Word of God. We may be able to quote the Word of God, but that does not mean our heart believes the Word of God. If you want to find out what your heart believes, let's apply a little bit of pressure and see what comes out. We'll find out what you believe. All right? So, you don't have to wait till a bad something or other happens to get your heart prepared. You can put the word, you can sow the word like the parable in Mark 4 says before something disastrous comes where you fall to your knees and run to your Bible. You need to be feeding your heart the word of God so that faith is there, all right? Now, you heard our story last night, how we came out of debt, paid all that debt off. We began to uh, watch God work and it was amazing. We started paying cash for our cars, our house, you know, all the things in our life began to, I mean, it was wonderful. I mean, I can't even, nine years lived hand to mouth, pawn shops. Borrowing money from relatives, barely scraping by, refrigerator empty. Our car was on, we never, we didn't fill our car up for three years one time. We couldn't, we could not fill our car up for three years. And when God began to teach us these things, it was like, I always say, it was like a switch came on. It took a while to get used to it because I kept waiting for the next whammy to come, you know, the next evil report, the next, the next major uh, catastrophe, the next event that I had to deal with, you know. And it just kept going, out of debt, paying cash for this, freedom, money in the bank. I mean, I liked it. My wife liked me a whole lot better too, by the way. <laughs> I was her hero then, you know. She got, the, got her house. Now, it's not about houses and cars, but they sure help sometimes. They're tools. Well, her brother's right here. Johnny, stand up so they can see, see you up here. This, this is her brother. Now, he's a... Uh, He's, you know, he's seeing all this happen. He's watching it all happen. So we have three companies, and he wanted to work 
with our company. He part-time. He began to work part-time with our company. His goal was to bring his wife home. They're both teachers in Georgia, to bring his wife home from, from teaching so she could raise their, their family starting to grow. And so he began to work part-time with our company. He made forty some thousand dollars part-time with our company. So he brought her home. He liked what he did so much, he decided to go full-time. So he quit teaching. So now they're full-time. Now, I knew that there were going to be some things he'd have to learn. And I own the company, so I saw the paychecks that were not coming out because it's a commission-based company. It's all commissions based on what you do. And so I knew that it was coming to a head because I'd seen the low checks for a couple months, and I knew they couldn't survive very long that way. So we're down visiting in December, and he calls us up, and I expected the calls. I said, well, come by your house. So we went by his house, sat down with him. And uh, they began to tell us how they were $5,000 behind last month's bills. And now they have the $5,000 a month of this month's bills, you know, due again. And so, you know, they're, they're, they, they need some help. So I, I knew the answer that he needed was how the kingdom operated. I needed to help instruct him what Jesus would do if he was there. And so I began to, we began, we spent a couple hours there talking about the kingdom of God. And finally we came to the point and I said, okay, what do you have? He had nothing. I happened to have one of his paychecks with me, $160, my pocket. I was actually, you know, I took it down to Georgia from Ohio and happened to have my pocket. I said, well, you have $160. I said, it won't help you the $5,000. But I said, it's enough to give. I said, now, Johnny, what are we going to believe God for? And the Holy Spirit said, don't answer him. Because what would he say? 5,000. That's the pressure point. But the Lord didn't want him to see that. The Lord wanted him to see a picture of the kingdom. And the Lord said, ask him if $12,000 in 30 days would be enough. So I just said to him, I said, Johnny, do you think uh, $12,000 in 30 days would be enough? You could see his eyes kind of like that. You know, it's like he never made that much money in his entire life in 30 days. You know, so he, could, he couldn't quite see it. Began to talk to him a little bit about it. Finally, they agreed, he and Candy, his wife, agreed they could, they could, they could come into agreement on that. So we held hands. We, we released that $160 into the kingdom. We held it. We, we thank God for it, according to Mark eleven twenty four. Therefore, when you pray, believe that you receive and you shall have it. Well, about three, three weeks later, I get a, a phone call on my cell. And sure enough, he's all excited. Clients are calling him. And he had, he had identified $17,000 worth of commissions in three weeks. Now, he's pretty excited about that. And I would say this. Remember last night I said, if you have one experience with the kingdom, it ruins you. In the sense that, you know, um, it's, let's kind of say if, if these lights came on one time, you would not be satisfied to use the candles anymore. You know what I'm saying? So you, you had a glimpse of the kingdom. Maybe not understood exactly how it happened completely, completely, completely. But you had a glimpse of the kingdom, and that's what happened to him. Today's resources are designed to increase your faith and revolutionize your life through kingdom principles and help you fix your money thing. Are you tired of waiting for your life to change? Then it's time to change the way you think. It's time for revolution. You've got to step into the chaos and conflict if you ever want to change your life. The Now Revolution is the foundational teaching of entrepreneur and financial expert, Gary Cassie. In the Now Revolution 2.0, Gary's five teachings use scriptures, stories, humor, and personal experiences to show you the principles of the kingdom of God that will revolutionize your life now. When God gives you the plan, man, you need to move. Are you tired of being held captive by your finances? It's time to break free and discover God's abundant provision for your life. You need new direction. You need new ideas, new concepts, right? To get you someplace you've never been before. So it comes by revelation. Messages include the kingdom of God is real. Why faith? Wealth by the Holy Spirit, power of the measure, and provision through God's kingdom. Call, write, or log on. And for only $30, you get over six hours of teaching on CD plus 20 financial scripture cards designed to move you from just surviving to thriving. The kingdom works every single time. Or you can get the Now Revolution on five DVDs and the 20 financial scripture cards for only $40. 
Discover how to step from survival mode into destiny mode. How to sow and harvest, then live on the overflow. Start your journey to financial revolution. These great resources are yours when you support the worldwide outreach of Faith Life Ministries. $30 for the Now Revolution on CD with the financial scripture cards. $40 for the DVDs and scripture cards. And whether you order CDs or DVDs, Gary and Drenda want to bless you to be a blessing with a second set to give to a friend or loved one. Help someone you care about experience financial breakthrough and discover their God-given destiny. Call 888-391-LIFE. That's 888-391-5433. Go to GaryCasey.com or write to Faith Life Now. P.O. Box 779, New Albany, Ohio, 43054. Get the Now Revolution 2.0 for you and a friend. Life's too short to spend one day living in lack. Gary Cassie is America's financial coach, and he makes fixing your money thing easy. Call, write, or log on today. This is great, Gary. Why are we calling this 2.0? Well, we've been teaching these principles for a few years now. We have had this material out. But we've had so many emails of people that ask questions that I realized there were some missing gaps that, mm -hmm. especially at the foundational level, that I had to bring them to a place of understanding of how the earth realm actually operated and the kingdom in them. So it really lays a greater foundation of how faith operates, how their heart operates, and brings the whole picture, I think, into a better clarity. And, uh, you know, I, I think that anyone that even has the old version, I think they're going to have a great... Yeah. Uh, a greater impact by studying this yes. version. Yes, you know, and there's so many new stories. Oh, so yes, many people all. have testimonies yes. and yeah. a lot of great material. It just keeps right. getting deeper. I think the more you teach it, uh, it just keeps going it, further and further and does. more revelation is wrapping around. And it. we also travel and we would love to meet you, of course. We uh, carry the Now Revolution across the United States yes. and we would love to meet you. If you would just call our office, we can make arrangements. Our heart is to help you get it. We want you to get the principles. Yes. That's why we're here. And we want you to get the material because we have experienced it. We've changed our lives with the kingdom. We want the same for you. Yes, God has so many good things for you. He wants you free from yeah. fear, free from worry. Thanks for tuning in today. Fixing the Money Thing is brought to you by the Ford Financial Group and Lindsay Honda and Acura of Columbus. Tune in each Friday at 5.30 p.m. for Drenda. Connect with special guests, discover life-changing topics, and learn to live life out loud. It's more than just television. It's Drenda. Come experience Faith Life Church for yourself and become part of a close-knit gathering of people who want something more more impact, more purpose, more of God, more of life. Located on the east side of Columbus, just 10 minutes from Easton off of 161, Faith Life Church meets in the Now Center with services Saturdays at 6 p.m. and Sundays at 9.30 and 11.30 a.m. Come experience the good life at Faith Life Church. Fixing the Money Thing is a presentation of Faith Life Now. 